Rolling action. At this very moment, a heart is breaking. Someone somewhere is laughing so hard, ribs are breaking. A baby is born somewhere. Wait, someone has just taken his last breath. At this very moment, we thank God for who we are. Aww, <laughs> that was so beautiful, Kalia. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, but you'll have to work on your tonal. Is it tonal variation? Tonal variation, I do really? it. Yes, you tonal what variation. Tonal variation. Tonal variation is the variation in spoken pitch when used, mm -hmm. not only for distinguishing words, but rather for a range of other functions, such okay. as indicating the attitude of the speaker, the emotions of the speaker, signaling the difference between a question and a statement, mm -hmm. indicating the point Johanna. of focus. Hey, what are you doing here? I am... Um... Out! Out! Okay. But, but ma'am... You're making a lot of noise with whatever this is. I was practicing for my show. You know I have to be ready. Oh, God. I wish the government would ban this so-called performing art. But, ma'am, art is the only way that I can lucidly express myself and the voice of the people to the people. What voice and what people? Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Is that one of the funny incantations you chant at practice? Ma'am, it's Latin. It means the voice of the people is the voice of God. Johanna, you're losing it. You're going off the tangent. And if you continue like this, I'll be forced to stop you from acting. No, ma'am, you can't. This is my vocation, my talent, my God-given aptitude. And I want to become an actor, and it is exactly what I will become. Plus, my dad supports me 100%. Your dad is an abetter, expediting your distraction. And since you began your so-called acting, everything about you has become dusted. Mom. I mean, your demeanor, you even bringing guts to the house at night. She was You're acting weird. Acting, you see? You cannot even still acting. Fine. You can carry on with your practice, but keep your voice down. If you wake me up again... Okay, Mom, I need a favor. What? Can you listen to me for the very last time and help me eliminate my mistakes, please? What gave you the idea that I'd listen to you? You know I don't support your acting career. Mom, please. No. Please, Mom. No. Okay, just listen, okay? Even if you won't eliminate any mistakes, just listen. Fine, but make it fast. Okay, okay. <laughs> At this very moment, a heart is breaking. Someone somewhere is laughing so hard, ribs are breaking. A baby is born somewhere. Wait. Someone has just taken his last breath. At this very moment, we thank God for who we are. Oh, <laughs> that was beautiful. Eh? Thank you so beautiful much, Dad. Thank you so me. much. Thank Sarah, you. Sarah, you want to draw in a compliment for this? That was resplendent, yeah. right? Resplendent? Despondent is more befitting. Come on, Sarah. You know you don't have to be so rude, right? And you know I don't have to be fickle, right? <laughs> That's an interesting what? theme for a play. Hmm. Hey. The despondent mom and the resplendent dad. You think? Yes, Don't because... think about it. But mom, that is the only way that I can lucidly express myself. Mm. Bridling me all the time only means stifling my career and grinding it to halt. Don't worry, my son. Eh? You know, I'll support you and your dreams. You know, Mikarai Empire is where it is because of your diligence and pertinacity. <laughs> yeah, you are the audience's favorite. Thank you so much, yeah, Dad. Thanks to you and your team, we are the leading acting group in the city. <laughs> thank you so much, Dad, for your undying support. And most importantly, thank you for being my cheerleader and my news. <laughs> anytime, eh? Anytime. <laughs> thank you so much, Dad. Yeah. Mikasa, why do you continue to support this kind of madness in our house? Madness? Yes. You know, that is exactly what everyone refers to our craft as madness. But the truth of the matter is, everyone out there is mad. But all that varies is the degree of madness. I, mom, will embrace my madness with aplomb. And I, my son, am a mad supporter of your madness, my mad son. <laughs> you truly have a day to face. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. <laughs> Thank you so much. Both of you are pathetic. I'm leaving. Ah, Sarai, you know, as Bansky said, art should comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. So, are you trying to say that I'm disturbed? Well, the fact that you don't know you belong is a bigger word. Ah. <laughs> ah, don't worry okay. about her. Eh? I'm sure she will yes, support me one yes, day. Yes, I'll take care of her. Yeah. Handle her. Eh? Skid there from the play of Arisha Severina, Reina Arnold, writer and director, with us here in studio. What did we just see? <laughs> <laughs> really, that was just like uh, a small peek of. Uh, what is going to be shown next week. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's just a small segment. And basically, it's just an encapsulation of the message you're trying to promulgate. Huh? You see, in the, in the segment you've watched, mm -hmm. huh? there is uh, a son 
who's torn between uh, listening to the mother or the father because right. the father is espousing the craft. He's like, I'll support you, you know. Art is what you love doing. Go ahead and do it. It's your vocation. Go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. But the mother is like, no, you can't do You can't do this. You know, I want you to do something else in college, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it brings out the whole aspect of people actually belittling and denigrating uh, acting mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. people look at it as something you do as a side mm -hmm. and not a main. Right. It's not a main cost meal. It's just something you do on the side. Right. Yeah. And, and it, becomes, it begins from uh, own homes. You earlier mentioned that the word avaricious means greed. Yes. How does greed come into the lives of artists? Well, greed comes into the lives of artists directly and uh, implicitly. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at, uh, we're, going, we're going to see something else mm -hmm. that will actually mm -hmm. summarize that, eh? elucidate more on that. But uh, if I'm to go outside the play, mm -hmm. as an artist, there's a whole aspect of uh, greed when it, when it comes to film especially. Mm -hmm. You find that most of our films are saturated by the same faces, you know? Right. You watch something today, same face, tomorrow, same face, everywhere, same face, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. greed. Yet we have so many, I mean, we have a whole raft of uh, talent in the country. Right that we can keep on seeing different people every other day, mm -hmm. you know, give somebody else a chance to be seen. Right. Also, it plays out in this way where people want to use artists mm -hmm. to make money. Right. You see, so greed plays out in two different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, let's mm. talk a bit more mm -hmm. about that, because at the end of the day, I mean, if, if art is the career one has chosen, it's meant to feed them, clothe them, yes, pay their should. bills. Mm -hmm. uh, and like you mentioned, many people use artists to, you know, benefit their own selves. Mm -hmm. Many times you find artists being told, do this for publicity. Uh -huh. But artists say publicity does That's not put food pay on the, the bills. Yes. How do we go about this and ensuring that the support for artists is all round in society, not just in our families, but in the, in the career field as well? Well, it starts with uh, self-awareness. Mm -hmm. You need to actually ingrain the message in the artists. The artists should think about themselves higher than mm -hmm. they think about themselves now. Right. You know, because right now they see themselves as little, as, as uh, appendages, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And the demigods are there, so they look at, the, at themselves as appendages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we should actually ingrain the, the message of self-confidence in the artist first, right. so that you know nothing is bigger than your craft. Mm -hmm. Once you understand that your craft is grandiose, then nothing can be as grandiose as your craft. All right. Um, let's uh, explain the next skit that we're about to see. What is that about? What are we about to, to witness right now? Well, we're about to have a skit about uh, a producer, mm -hmm. technically, because I tried to just sum up all these things in one. Mm -hmm. So there's a producer who's actually running a show, mm -hmm. but instead, I mean, they're given money, but instead of uh, spending it on the right trajectories, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they use it on their own trajectories, mm -hmm. as op I mean, instead of uh, in lieu of uh, supporting right. the artist. Right. So the artist a a ends up being shortchanged at the expense of, uh, I mean, rather not at the expense, but at the benefit of uh, the producer. All right, so let's mm -hmm. see that right mm -hmm. now uh, in our studios. See me. Where are these actors? The show is about to start and no one has arrived yet. I have no idea. Um, though I had them talking about how they're being mistreated here. Mistreated? I am giving them a platform. Mom, I'm just reporting verbatim. Do I get retribution for that? Then don't report, okay? A rebellion in the offing must be squashed. I am doing these little actors a favor. I don't remember the last time Fever put food on the table. So now you're part of the bandwagon, eh? Fomenting cries of discontentment. Huh? I, am, I am my own self, mother. I agree I have been an accomplice. Abetting the oppression of artists, but I've seen the light. What's light? See me, eh? What's light? You are the darkness that only light can drive out. Mom, stop it. Artists are human beings too. They have bills to pay, <laughs> families to take care of. Mm. Why do you treat them like you're more human than them? For the umpteenth time, see me, eh? I am giving them a platform. Their ancestors and tribesmen get to see them on TV. Do you think that's a small thing? Of what importance is it for an artist to be seen on TV, painting a picture of Brenda and Glamour, then walks away with nothing in the pocket? Nothing in the stomach, mom. Tormented by anguish and wallowing in the miasma of depression. See me? Pick a side, okay? Pick a side. You're too late to that, buddy. I stand with the artist. Then you're a brute. That gives you money to pay the artist, you know? Take care of their welfare. But you blatantly spend the money on your own trajectory and ostracize the artist. And you blatantly say that you're giving them a platform? <laughs> Simi, Simi, that was so sweet. So sweet. I am, um, you're so sweet. And that is the second sneak peek of the play, Averina Avericious. Let's just get a final comment from you. Again, what will people get out of watching this play? Well, the message, the salient message people are going to, to take home uh, mm -hmm. is that uh, 
art is difficult. All right. You know, and there are so many challenges out there that actors are going through, and therefore they should not be so draconian on them, actually pushing them into the miasma of depression. Okay. Yes. And that is a play that will be opening next week. Many thanks for speaking to us. That is uh, uh, Raina Arnold, writer and director of the play. And that brings us to a close on Bottom Line Africa today to our 